do y'all know it's easy is that is that just me am i weird or do y'all like that too would you feel exploited used in a way used what do y'all think got my coffee you know when you start reading the bible and praying the lord will really open your eyes about every situation every single situation really and like i said i'll be doing a lot of thinking a lot of thinking right and i'm like this child child chill just chill okay it's important that we all remember you don't know what anyone else's relationship is with the lord so but all the fathers i have subscribed hope you guys had a great father's day i really do but there's a difference between supporting someone and exploiting them. There really is. You know, if you don't know Jesus, then I hope you get to know Jesus, cause he's awesome. That's it. Every two seconds, the kids come and they're, y'all know, y'all know how it is. So you're essentially monetizing someone else's life, their stories, their struggles, their content is being monetized, right? What's up you guys how are you doing i hope you're feeling blessed and well today i really do you guys it is a uh, friday june 24th it is 9 a.m i'm going to work as always um yes took a few days off from vlogging i hope y'all are you know y'all are doing well and y'all were productive and everything it really wasn't too much to vlog y'all it just it wasn't really much going on it was just a lot of resting and just i told y'all i've been reading my bible lately so i was reading my bible so what that's that's really what i needed that's what i needed so yeah yeah father's day was cool we really didn't do much the last few days i've just been cooking and like reading my bible and just like um relaxing and um we really didn't do much dre's birthday passed his birthday was on the 20th so yes yes that's it that's that's just that's what we needed just quiet time spending time together at home at home and it's just been nice because y'all know um throughout the school year and everything is like dre and i really were just seeing each other in passing because I will get up and go to work and take the kids and then by the time I come home he's going to work so just it was really nice um I'm on the way to work got my laundry back there I'm going to go to Tim Hortons the kids want bagels of course I'm going to go to Tim Hortons and then um I don't have too much of a busy day today so I have my bible I just want to read quietly I just want some quiet time just some quiet time like I said I've been doing about reading my bible at home and stuff but it's not the same because every two seconds the kids come and they're y'all know y'all know how it is so that's the plan I'm getting over to the suite probably have a little quiet time to read my bible straighten up over there and um what else was I going to tell y'all? Oh, I might run to the grocery store today because Zoe's asking me for some Outshine bars, fruit bars, and uh, they want me to make tacos later. So I'll probably run to the grocery store, which is it's cool with me because tacos is an easy dinner. Do y'all know? It's easy. So yes, yes. I popped my nails off yesterday because they was just getting so bad. And I, I just, y'all, I just... I have not been productive the last few days. I told y'all I've been resting and just just reading my Bible chilling. But yes, my fingers hurt. This one is like it broke in the middle when I popped it off. My fingers hurt so bad. I shouldn't have popped them off. I should have got them soaked off because when I got in the shower today, the hot water even like burned, like hurt my y'all know if the women I have subscribed, y'all know, y'all know. But all the fathers I have subscribed, hope you guys had a great Father's Day. I really do. So yes, yes, I'm about to go grab some bagels and 
get some breakfast for the children and then I'm getting over to the sweet y'all. That's it, that's it. I'm tripping because I asked for some strawberry jam and they said they don't have any jam. I'm gonna have to run in the house and put some jam on my sandwich or some jelly, like, just how? How, how do you run out of jelly? How y'all? <laughs> Forgot to ask Dre if he wanted something, but he didn't say he wanted anything, so I guess he don't want anything, y'all. He'd probably still be sleeping anyway. Alright guys, I'm back. Got my coffee. Food. I'm gonna go take the kids their food and wash my hands and put some jelly on my sandwich. So I'll be big. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Put some jam on my sandwich. I should have just ate it in the house. I don't know why I didn't, but I left the car running. So, <laughs> but now I want to eat it right now. Just smelling it made me like even more hungry. Looking at the yard because Zoe said they just came and cut the grass, but uh, I don't know. It doesn't have that like fresh cut look to me. But I don't see any. Oh, I see a few lines. I like that, like it's a weird thing. I like when the grass is cutting, you can see the lump. Is that is that just me, am I weird? Or do y'all like that too? <laughs> Anyways, okay, okay. Focus, focus, focus. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm here. Someone was texting and calling me. One of my clients want to reschedule for today. So that's cool. I'm not tripping. Like I said, at least I just have some quiet time to kind of read today and all that stuff. Let me text her back. Yes, yes. Speaking of relationships with the Lord, you know, it's important that we all remember you don't know what anyone else's relationship is with the Lord. So <laughs> that's just it. That's it. Don't be trying to give people advice about their relationship with the Lord because you don't know. Okay? You don't know. You don't know. Everyone has their own relationship with the Jesus. Okay? That's just it. You know, I'm quite sure sometimes, you know, it's a little bit stronger at some point in your life. But overall, you know, if you don't know Jesus, then I hope you get to know Jesus because he's awesome. That's it. It's my coffee. <laughs> it's my sandwich, y'all. Put too much, too much jam, I guess, at the house. <laughs> oh, this sandwich was good. It was so good. Y'all know I usually get my omelet bites, but that sandwich was good. I just went back out to get my laundry. I'm about to deal with that in a second. Been doing so much laundry at home, it's like the thought of even folding more laundry right now is like, but I'ma just get it done. As always, y'all, <laughs> just get it done. See my phone keep going off. Oh, so another one of my clients. Um, I'm about to text Dre because yesterday the kids wanted to go for the bike ride, but I could not get the bike locked to come apart. Maybe because it's been like that for so long. I'm trying to think that we've opened it since the weather started to, I couldn't get it to come apart. I'm gonna take some and ask them to take the bikes loose. So when I get home, we can go for a little bike ride. Let's see, what's the weather today? Oh yeah, it's gonna, well, it's gonna be high in 90, so we might not go for a bike ride unless it's later in the evening when it starts to cool off. It should be about uh, 
6 o'clock it's still gonna be 82 7 is gonna go down to 79 so we'll see let me take some Still been bugging me about going to the beach. I'm gonna go probably get one of those passes I got last last year. If y'all were subscribed last summer, I had that pass. I have a few beach vlogs up here because that's what they really love to do. The girls, they love the beach. They lo love the beach, okay? And Dre said he's gonna order one of those tents that you pop up in the sand to relax in there. Well, for me, because if I'm not in the water, the sun sometimes will give me a headache. Y'all know for some reason my eyes get very sensitive to light. So he's ordering like the little pop-up tent you put in the sand and like, you know, just to have some shade. They had one on uh, Amazon. It looks, it looks like it's easy to assemble. Did I show y'all my new Bible and the cover and stuff? This one of these children got a pen mark on it. I think it was Journey. I said, don't be defacing my property. Like, where do they do that? Where? Where y'all? But actually, I really love this. I'm glad I, that I got a new one because this one has the large print. So I don't have to really like put on my glasses when I read it, you guys. So yes, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. The front of it looks like that. I was gonna get my name on it, but the people who do it, um, she said they couldn't do it for like a week. So I was like, oh, I just bring it back so they can like put my name on it or whatever. I got it from a uh, discount Bible, the discount Bible store. And I love these little things they have in here. Hold on. These highlighters because have y'all seen these? Hold on, let me show y'all. They're like uh, perfect for like um, reading the Bible because you know it's not like a marker, but it glides well. This is my first time seeing these at the you know the Bible store. I should go back and get a few more. I thought it was a regular. It's a gel stick highlighter. So yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go back and get a bunch of these. I love this thing. So since I have that one cancellation, I'm gonna make the most of my time today and go ahead and talk about that one fade cream that I told y'all I was gonna talk about and it's been like three weeks. So, uh, I'm gonna get my information out and hopefully I'll put it in this bag, y'all, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I haven't used it. I haven't used it. Y'all will see that before you see this vlog. I haven't used this. And we don't, I'm gonna tell y'all about why the box looked the way it do. Just know, just know y'all. All right, I have my uh, MacBook out. I was just looking up the last few little ingredients in this, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have this little bracelet. Zoe made this for me with these smiley face on it. Zoe made this for me at her friend's house. She said they had a bracelet making kit, something off Amazon. Then now she's bugging me to order y'all. Every day, almost every day, she sends me a link to something on Amazon. Is it, do all 10 year olds do this? She sends me a link almost every day. And I'm like, child, child, chill, just chill, okay? The other day, when I was talking about she wanted to go swimming over her friend's house, y'all, she did end up going swimming over her friend's house. Um, I went over there and stuff. You know, this somebody, she, they've been going to school for a couple of years together. I pretty much know all the moms. I'm not honestly an active mom in the mom groups and stuff because I just be having too much, too many things to do. But in the summer, this summer, that's a goal. I want to be more, more socialized, more with the other moms and stuff. But anyways, anyways, she, um, what do you call it? She was swimming. I'm, I'm gonna put some pictures up here. They had a little pool. It's, it wasn't deep enough to worry, really have to worry. 
and she put some pictures up here for y'all. She, she had a lot of fun, so. And of course, Journey was like, that's not fair, I wanna go. <laughs> I'm about to pop some shrimp on and record the video for this, this really quick. And my glue and some tweezers. These are just the Ardell, I think they're called Wispies. These are cool, I mean, they're noticeable, but they're not too crazy, you know? They're just, they're cool. Alright y'all, pop them on. I'm just giving them a while to dry. To, I didn't get it to get the fan. I'm gonna dry and then I'm gonna go pinch them in, in place or whatever. This one look a little lopsided. Alright y'all, <clears throat> excuse me. Alright, I just finished editing that video. I can edit my videos literally in like 10 minutes. Yeah, it just, mm -hmm, it's just second nature now. Dre was texting me. He was asking me if I wanted to. <laughs> he was asking. He was asking if I wanted him to take the training wheels off a of journey's bike. I said, "Okay, go ahead. It's time. It's time, y'all. This should be an adventure." Yes, I'm so much more productive when I come here because the kids distract me so much at home. Do y'all know? Do y'all know? Trying to finish my coffee. So yes, this is almost finished. I just went ahead and uh, uploaded this because like I said, the Wi-Fi here is faster than at home. <laughs> and um, I think I have about an hour. An hour, I'm just gonna read my Bible for like an hour and then I'll have to go ahead and um, take care of my clients, my couple of clients today. And uh, then I'm gonna get out of here and probably, like I said, run to the grocery store and get this stuff to make these children some nachos. This video taking too long now. I'm trying to get my hour to read my Bible. Come on now. Well, I guess I can start and let it process. I can't, can I? <laughs> but it takes my grandmother on my dad's side of the family, you know, you know, because we still cool over there. <laughs> I've asked her to send me some. She has a lot of like little literature for children for like, I think she does. Sometimes she will send it for me for the kids, like children's Bible stories. Cause I really want to start doing that with the kids, like reading on Bible stories at night. Like, you know, that's one thing I, I've been slacking on. Y'all know I'm all about education, but uh, I want them to, um, you know, know about Jesus more, that's it. That's the goal. <laughs> I'm about to text her and ask her. Can she send me some stuff? All right, yeah, that's still processing, so I'm just gonna read for a little bit, y'all. Got my shades. I've been doing a lot of thinking and I've been reading my Bible and just, you know, meditating. And I just think sometimes, just like when people do things, just like crazy evil things, like what what is driving you to do this? What is inside of you that is making you want to do this? Just what? What is it? Do y'all know? Do y'all know? Do y'all ever see people do stuff and you like, what is wrong with you up here? Do y'all ever, or is that just me? Is that just me? Alright, y'all. I'm gonna get to the grocery store. All 
scenario, I'm at a Meyer. I'm gonna run in Meyer. I was gonna go down to BJ's, but I don't have a BJ's card. I don't know what I did with it. Uh, all my stuff fell out my purse. I left it open, so it may be somewhere under the couch. Who knows? But um, you know, when you start reading the Bible and praying. The Lord will really open your eyes about every situation, every single situation, really. And like I said, I'll be doing a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking, right? I know there's a lot of people on this platform that I have a lot of supporters that I didn't even realize I had until I started really just taking some time. When I took those few days to just kind of relax and I said, I'm tired y'all, I'm taking a few days. I start to see how much support I really have, right? But there's a difference between supporting someone and exploiting them. There really is. Like say for example, it's one thing to support someone, to openly support them, right? But I think it turns to exploitation when, uh, I'll just give y'all an example, okay? Say for instance, there's someone who has an extremely large platform and they stumble across a micro YouTuber and they start to uh, reference that micro YouTuber's life stories to the Bible and they're, uh, so you're essentially monetizing someone else's life their stories, their struggles, their content is being monetized, right? And monetizing that, receiving cash donations, who knows what else? Probably thousands upon thousands of dollars, okay? Do y'all think that's an example of exploitation? Especially if they've never even contacted that person, never sent them an email, a prayer cloth, anointed oil, a cash app, nothing. Do y'all think that's exploitation? Do y'all? To take someone else's life and reference it to the Bible and basically monetize it. What do y'all think? Do y'all think that's exploitation or support? Because who knows? You know, one day soon, Eventually, down the line a year from now, I might want to monetize my own life in a book or something, you know. So, monetize my life to the masses. Never once say who I am or my name, just monetize my life. Do y'all think that's exploitation? Comment down below. Let me know. Comment down below. It never ceases to amaze me the things that people do. Like, what gives you the right? What gives you the right to do that? Never once asked me. Ain't never seen one comment. Never seen one comment. Never received one email. Never received one cash app. But you monetize my life. How? How? Don't know how I feel about that. If it's okay with me. What do you guys think? Do y'all think that's okay? Or acceptable? How would y'all feel if somebody monetized your life and your life stories and referenced them to the Bible and things like that without even asking your permission? Never once even been in contact with you. How would y'all feel? Would you feel exploited? Used in a way? Used. What do y'all think? Put yourself in my shoes for one second. All right, y'all. Let me get in here and get my baby her outshine bars. All right, y'all, got my stuff, my bags. But so, yeah, with that scenario, you know, say for instance, the exploitation. Do you guys think that uh, that will happen to someone who was a celebrity? Do y'all think so? Someone in a position of prominence and wealth? Think they would be exploited that way? So I said, sometimes, you know, People get, uh, how do you say, money, money or a little authority, and they lose their humanity. I wonder, that was a celebrity, if it was like Beyonce or like P. Diddy or Will Smith, would, would they get exploited that way? 
I don't know. What do y'all think? So, let me get home. I always encourage y'all to think logically. When people seem like they're on your side or they're in support of you, ask yourself what they have to gain from that. What they have to gain. What are they getting out of it? And what are you getting? If they're getting something and you're getting nothing, you're being used or exploited. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm home. And like I said, I have no alliance, allegiance to, to anybody on this platform. Okay, I serve one God and one God only. And it, it just, it just, it just amazes me how people do anything. It's all about money. It's all about money. That's all stuff is about. At the end of the day, people will do anything, say anything, use anybody for money to get to their. That's it. That's it. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. It, it never see. It, it's it's terrible. So that's it y'all, that's it. As I said before, I encourage y'all to think logically about things. People may seem like they're in support of you, but ask yourself, what are they getting out of this and what are you getting, okay? So that's things are not always what they seem. Y'all go ahead on and be blessed. Be blessed, think logically, stay prayed up and be encouraged y'all, bye.